Nyam, 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 nyam. Oh, I might go back. Ooh. Vicious. <laughs> Still won't eat humans, though. Hi, I'm Ann Jones from ABC Science, and today we're watching bat videos from the internet because they're the lords of the afterlife. Or are they adorable cuties? Watch your finger. Oh, she does too. By the way, bats came to us via Melanie and her kiddo. So thanks, guys, for your suggestion. I was born to haunt you. <gasps> Ooh, look at the little cheeks. Nom, 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 nom. They don't suck your blood. In fact, there's only three types of vampire bat in the whole world and none of them occur in Australia. The mega bats, the big fruit bats, are fruit eaters. Oh yeah. Look how excited it looks. The ears are back and the eyes are like hard. Ah. These mega bats. They will congregate in large colonies around times when there is lots of resources in an area. So sometimes people think that there's a population explosion of bats, whereas actually they're probably moving closer to where food is. You've got to think of them as like flying farmers. Everywhere they go eating fruit, they're pooping out fruit seed. And that means that all of the bushland and the rainforest that you love so much is a product of these flying farmers. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's really cool. You can actually see some of the wing structure. So they are a mammal and they're one of the only mammals really, these bats that can fly in a sustained manner, not like a glider that glides in one go. These guys flap and can direct their flight. It's Mary, she's an eastern broadnose. Oh, look at that. <gasps> I might go back. Seriously? It's like, wow. These guys look like they are rescue bats. Watch your finger. Oh, she does too. Ooh, vicious. That's why you do not want to handle any bats. See those sharp little teeth that she had? Oh, nom noms. Microbats are the coolest ever. There are so many species in Australia and they all look completely different. They mostly eat very small things like insects. So microbats will zoom around and take all your mosquitoes. They still won't be eating blood, however, there is one called a ghost bat. Which is in northern Australia, which will take other mammals and animals. Still won't eat humans though, they're only that big. You can see how it's got big ears. Some of the microbats also have really big nostril bits, sort of like ears. And that's exactly how they function, in fact. When they send out a pip, it pip. comes back, pip. reverberates into their skull, and that's how they know where their prey is. That is spectacular. This is a normal behaviour for them. As twilight falls, they swirl in this absolutely epic, it sort of feels apocalyptic swirl, gain height and go out to feed for the evening. But I understand, in a way, why people can be concerned about seeing this sort of thing right close to where they're living. Some bats in Australia do have lysivirus. It's a really catastrophic disease for humans. You can have your house, you can have your playgrounds, you can have bat colonies right next to your school and the risk of you getting sick is almost nothing. Where the risk of getting sick from bats is, is from you actually being scratched or bitten by a bat and actually have the bat's saliva enter your bloodstream. So the likelihood of that happening is really low. That being said, there has been deaths from lysivirus in Australia. So the best way of avoiding it is to not touch bats. You're not going to show me pictures of bats dying, are you? You might, because I'll probably cry. <laughs> this is some footage of the massive bat carnage from yesterday's 40 plus heat wave. So what looks like has happened here is the effect of a heat wave. Death tolls probably in the thousand plus. 
Bats, bats, dead bats. Bats have heaps of ways that they can try and keep cool. They sometimes flap their wings like this and provide a little bit of uh, aeration around themselves. They sometimes lick their forearms or lick parts of their bodies to provide evaporation. And when it's really hot, sometimes they'll even fall down onto the ground and crawl to find a cooler spot. But over recent times, we've seen a huge amount of bat death from heat. The thing is, is that are bats dangerous to humans? And then you see images like this and you think, well, it's pretty clear that humans are dangerous to bats because of climate change. So much of their habitat has already been uh, destroyed. We're the ones to be scared of. All of Australia's bats bring something to our environment. Admire them from afar. When you're walking past their colonies, thank them for their rainforest service and go on your way. I have long had this theory about bats, that the thing that really freaks people out is the fact that they're upside down most of the time. Because if you take a picture of a bat and then turn it around, look how cute it is. <laughs> it's so cute. Remember to subscribe for more How Deadly. I'll see you again next time.